What is going on, deck builders? Welcome back to another episode of Five Cards in Five Minutes. I've got a fun one in store for you today. We're going to be talking all about chaos cards. I've picked out five cards that can completely flip a game on its head and make for some really funny shenanigans. Chaotic styles of play are perfect for the players who are looking to really shake things up in their local meta. A chaotic style of play isn't necessarily going to be the most competitive, but every game you play will be unique and your opponents will never know what to expect from you. Don't use these cards if you aren't prepared for a lot of salt from your opponents. I mean, go figure, right? The other players at the table might not be as excited as you when the game gets flipped upside down and set on fire. If you're truly dedicated to the chaos, who really cares what they think anyway? It's like what my buddy Alfred used to say, some men just want to watch the world burn. So here we go, five must-have cards for all the agents of chaos out there. Coming in at number five is a handy artifact that fits into the color scheme of any deck. Knowledge Pool is a six mana artifact that converts everybody's spells at the table into one community pool. This handy artifact can really throw a table off the deep end. As soon as Knowledge Pool enters the battlefield, players are already donating three cards to the pool. Anytime a spell is cast, instead it's added to the Knowledge Pool, and the player who is casting the spell can take any spell out of the Knowledge Pool and cast it in the original spell's place. As I'm sure you can imagine, Knowledge Pool has some really silly interactions. If you're crafty though, you can use the Knowledge Pool to your advantage. Unless they specifically state otherwise, any card in the Knowledge Pool can be cast at instant speed. Of course, that starts with you playing an instant speed spell, which will be added to the knowledge pool. Then you can pick whatever spell you need that's already in the knowledge pool and cast that spell at instant speed. Of course, your opponents can do all this too. So as you can imagine, it's going to make for some interesting game situations. Sneaking in at number four, we have a classic chaotic card, Thieves Auction. Even the art on this card is stellar. They're straight up mugging this guy in the street and just tearing his clothes off. Imagine playing this card deep into a long game. While everybody's busy clogging up their boards, you're scheming, trying to figure out which permanent you're gonna steal first. Be sure to keep your salt shaker handy whenever you play this card. There's gonna be a lot of nerd rage. Coming in at number 3, we have a really interesting card, Scrambleverse. Unlike Thieves Auction, players don't get to pick which permanent they gain control of. With Scrambleverse, it's totally random. One player might get really lucky and end up with pretty much all the permanents. Another player might end up with practically nothing. That luck element is part of what makes this card so intriguing. Let's be real though. At 8 mana in red, this card is going to be difficult to actually cast, but if you can pull it off, it's going to be a unique experience each and every time. Sliding in at number 2 is a mind-bending blue enchantment, Psychic Battle. This unique enchantment basically makes everybody at the table clash with each other whenever anyone tries to target something with a spell. There are so many commonly played spells that target things. Instead of players being able to tee off with their removal spells like they normally would, instead they have to check and make sure that somebody else doesn't get to use it first. Similar to Scrambleverse, Psychic Battle has that randomness element that chaotic players just love. At five mana in blue, it's going to be a little difficult to get this enchantment on the battlefield, but if you can do it, it's going to be incredibly hard to get rid of. I definitely dig the wizard battle vibes coming off the art of this card as well. Bonus points from me. Coming in at number one is an enchantment so chaotic it has chaos in its name, Planar Chaos. If you're a Two-Face fan, or just a fan of random chance, you're gonna love this card. You're gonna be flipping a lot of coins. If the odds are ever in your favor, you'll be countering spells left and right. True Disciples of Chaos would never forget the handy artifact, 
Clark's Thumb. Like any quality casino, it's important to stack the odds in your favor. It's like they always say, the house always wins. And if you're really feeling lucky, don't forget about Chance Encounter. The flavor text says it best, the more unlikely the victory, the more memorable the success. Thanks so much for joining me. If you liked today's video and you want more like it, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe and come join the Deck Builder Society. If you want to be one of the first people to know when I drop a new video, hit that notification bell. You stay classy, Deck Builders. I'll see you next time.